A momentous moment in Charleston's history, a statue that stood in Marion Square for more than a century is coming down. There are feelings of relief from some and frustration for others. Yeah, I call it a, a, a new, uh, the new history of Charleston. Uh, I think we're moving forward and not uh, re, uh, looking back at the past. We're just asking you to please leave our history alone. Tonight we have team coverage from downtown Charleston on what's going into the removal of the John C. Calhoun statue. We'll tell you why it is taking so long for the statue to come down and what's next. Stay with us. News to at 5 starts right now. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Right now, we are waiting and watching as the process of taking down the Calhoun statue continues tonight. News 2's Riley Benson and Katie Augustine have been in downtown Charleston at Marion Square all day as crews work to take the statue down. Katie has spoken with people who passionately oppose the statue's removal. We are going to start, though, with Riley, who's heard from various leaders about the impact today it will have on the Low Country forever. Riley? Well, Brendan, right now the latest, and I want you to take a look at the statue as I back out. The latest right now is we're minutes, we're told we're minutes away from this statue being removed from the pedestal here in Marion Square. Now, we've heard that before, but the latest is, the latest delay was there's a rod in the back heel that has been cut. Crews are now moved away from the statue. They've told everyone to back up. They've even, inside the fence, they've moved crews away from the statue itself. So, Brendan, it looks like we're just minutes away from the statue being removed from its pedestal here in Marion Square. This is, comes after a lengthy delay, lengthy delays, excuse me, uh, waiting on a different tools to come this morning, fixing another issue, and now we, we believe we are in the final process here of bringing the statue off of its pedestal, its resting place since 1896. And Brendan, I did speak with city leaders in really the last week as we've covered this story. We've covered the protests, we've covered press conferences, we've spoke with city leaders. They tell me that this is a good step. They think that this is a good starting place. They think that there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, though, here in the county, in the state, in the city of Charleston. But again, Brendan and Carolyn, the thing right now is that it appears like we are just minutes away from the statue actually being lifted off of the pedestal. Again, a place where it stood here in Marion Square since 1896. Crews have been working since the early hours this morning, since about midnight, working to remove this statue. Uh, they are working to cut it, and it looks like they might be close. So we're going to continue to bring you updates. We're going to bring you the latest coverage. And live from Marion Square in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, count on two. Minutes away, as Riley just said, from that statue being lifted from that stand in downtown Charleston at Marion Square. A lot of people patiently awaiting the removal of the John C. Calhoun statue, some waiting in the square for more than 12 hours. News 2's Katie Augustine has been speaking with people at Marion Square all afternoon, getting their reaction to the monument being removed. Katie, what are they saying? Carolyn, people have been coming and going to Marion Square since 11 o'clock last night, waiting to witness history with their own eyes. When mechanical issues delayed the process, these people still stuck it out, bringing picnic blankets, food, and water, so they don't miss the moment. Many people on site today are happy with City Council's unanimous vote to remove the monument. And I couldn't be more proud of our city right now for making this decision. Uh, very um, happy and honored to have our mayor and council members vote unanimously on this. Pride, a common emotion among spectators today, saying this is a step in the right direction for the city. It's very important because we felt like since, you know, everything is going on with George Floyd and we're finally getting to see change happen that we haven't seen. And it's sad that it took for another black man to die to see something actually change. Despite the ongoing mechanical issues, people have been patient and peaceful, waiting to see progress. We just thought it was very important just to see this time in history to watch the statue come down because we know who John C. Calhoun was and what he did. Uh, I think we're moving forward and not uh, re uh, looking back at the past, but this new history of equality and appreciation and empathy for everyone. Crowds continuing to grow and then shrink here at Marion Square as people are unsure of the fate of this John C. Calhoun statue this evening as mechanical issues continue to arise and the potential for storms coming into the coastline later this evening. We'll check back in with you later. For now, live in downtown Charleston, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two. 
Katie, thank you. And of course, we will go to that video live as it happens when that statue is removed from Marion Square in downtown Charleston. And for the very latest on all of our stories, you can find it at CalOn2.com. Well, certainly we are watching the weather for those folks who are at Marion Square working and watching as the statue comes down. You can clearly see we do have storms in the area. We're actually looking north from Shem Creek. The temperature is 82 degrees, so most of these are away from the downtown area from, I would say, Somerville all the way to Bulls Bay and points north. South of there, downtown especially is looking pretty good. This lightning is probably just far enough away, but again, we are continuing to watch. Let's go now downtown to Marion Square. I understand the statue is now being lifted off of its pedestal, where again it's been in a long time, 1896. Let's go live downtown. And there it is. You can hear the cheers, people in the background, uh, as this statue of John C. Calhoun has been taken off where it stood since 1896, over 120 years, Carolyn. That's right, 124 years. In fact, nearly to the day, we understand that that statue was first placed there June 27, 1896. And, of course, we could hear cheers from the crowd. This is something that started more than 12 hours ago. Construction crews started to dismantle this statue. Of course, it was the result of a resolution by Charleston City Council, a unanimous vote taken last night when they decided that this statue, in fact, would be removed and the determination as to where it would go would be done at another time. But this is certainly a moment in Charleston as well as U.S. history, this statue being removed. Yeah, so we are seeing this certainly around the country. Uh, statues being taken down, uh, some statues being toppled uh, amid protests and demonstrations. But this one has lasted quite some time into the uh, wee hours this morning, all the way until now. They ran into several problems with bolts and lightning rods that they had to cut. But as you can see right now, certainly a momentous occasion as this statue, Cal John C. Calhoun, which was 100 feet in the air at the time, now being brought down, as you said, Carolyn, up there since 1896. And you can see all the people gathering there taking pictures as it makes its way to the ground. Yeah, that statue, that monument, 115 feet tall, the statue of John C. Calhoun, a staunch defender of slavery and a former U.S. Vice President, uh, started coming down Wednesday at around 3 in the morning. Uh, this is, in fact, the latest memorial of a historical figure with a known racist past to be removed from a place of prominence. Uh, the city council again voted unanimously late Tuesday to remove the statue of Calhoun, and crews started working early this morning to lift the massive statue from its base. It's estimated to be between five and 6,000 pounds. That's the estimate of this marble statue, and now, finally, being removed from that pedestal. And you can see the reaction from people in downtown Charleston. Lots of people taking pictures. There were cheers and probably some jeers from people who are opposed to this. And Brendan, as you well know, last night uh, there was public opinion. People had an opportunity to speak to Charleston City Council. Um, nearly 300 people were saying they, in fact, believe this monument uh, should be dismantled and this statue brought down. Yeah, certainly we've seen protests in Marion Square in the last week, both for and against. Uh, we, we saw several people there. Uh, the fence that you see in front of you there on the TV screen dividing some of those protesters who were passionate on how they felt on either side of the issue. One wanted it to stay up. One group said they want it down. This is an a, a issue that's been unique just to this time period. There have been calls to take the statue down before, but uh, in the last couple of weeks or so, uh, we heard Mayor John Tecklenburg speak just a couple of days ago last week, and then as Carolyn just said, the resolution was voted on to take the statue down, and things happened, progressed quickly from there on out, as it is now down on the ground for the first time in 124 years. They did have some problems getting it down. This, this statue, of course, has survived storms. It survived so much when it comes to weather. It's been up there for so long. So they obviously installed it properly. They had a, a, a lightning rod they set in there, a screw that uh, even with 12,000 pounds of torque, they could not get undone. So it definitely took a while to get done. We thought this would happen in the uh, dark hours of this morning, but it did not. It just happened now, just after 5 o'clock. 
Brendan, you talk about uh, Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg. He called the statue's removal. In fact, he said that, quote, we are settling a new chapter, a more equitable chapter in our city's history. That coming from Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg. Again, the decision by Charleston City Council 13 to 0. They all decided that, in fact, this was the time that this statue should be removed. There was concern about the statue's removal a couple of years ago. They opted not to remove the statue. They, in fact, decided that perhaps a plaque uh, that provided more context about John C. Calhoun's role in our country's history might be appropriate. But now, two years later, the decision is final that this statue will be removed and, in fact, put in a perhaps a museum or an educational facility of some kind where the full uh, scope of his impact on world history would then be reviewed and studied. You know, certainly don't want to forget history, so that is the big question now. The one question that is answered, would the John C. Calhoun statue in Marion Square downtown Charleston be taken down? There is your answer, yes, it has been taken down. Where it goes from here is the next question. There are certainly a lot of places that, that celebrate the history of Charleston, and that statue will most likely be somewhere in the near future, and we will certainly keep, up to, keep you up to date on the Calhoun statue and where its next uh, place will be. About 200 people were in downtown Charleston earlier today. Let's find out how the crowd has grown since that time. News 2's Riley Benson has been covering this story since the announcement and resolution uh, by Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg that this statue would be removed. Riley, give us an idea of what you are hearing as well as seeing as finally the John C. Calhoun statue has been removed. Well, Carolyn, I want you to be able to take a look at the statue as it still sits there. But to describe the feeling, the emotion, it's kind of like a, it's a weird somber maybe even. I mean, there definitely were some cheers. There was some singing. Um, but, you know, people are really just kind of taking this moment in. They're taking pictures, as you can see. Uh, you can still see the statue in our eye shot right now, but it's, it's still very quiet. Um, some people have actually began to make their way out of Marion Square, leaving the area. They saw it come down, maybe grabbed a picture, and now they're on their way out. But like I said, it's still very quiet. It's very somber. A lot of people aren't saying a whole lot. There were some cheers, like I mentioned, but people really just, like you can see in front of us, kind of taking in this moment of history here in the city of Charleston and even across the country, taking pictures of it, um, just taking it in, you know, viewing this as it happened live just minutes ago in front of us. But to really describe the, the feeling, um, just kind of quiet. There were cheers when it immediately happened and then kind of quieted back down. Some people, like I said, even making their way out uh, as a storm cloud kind of rolls in over Marion Square right now, um, held off perfectly for all the delays we had today. But to describe this, this emotion, it's quiet now. There were cheers and it's just maybe like a somber moment. Riley, you know, we have talked, uh, there have been people on both sides of the issue here, some that really were passionate about having the Calhoun statue stay atop that monument where it was before being taken down, others wanting it taken down. Do you see both sides there, or, or the majority of people there, the ones who support the Calhoun statue being taken down? Um, I would really say it looks like the majority of people here are for the statue coming down. There might be some people who aren't saying anything. Um, there really aren't anybody. There's no one clashing right now. I mean, there's, like I said, there's just people kind of taking pictures. So I would assume that most people here are either, you know, pro that statue coming down or are just here to take in this moment. Um, there's no really clashing forces or clashing opinions like we possibly saw earlier today, Brendan. All right, news is Katie Augustine also in downtown Charleston at Marion Square. And Katie, we know that you've spent some time walking around the square, the areas of meeting Calhoun and King Street. Give us an idea if people have stopped to watch what's happening in Marion Square right now or if people are talking about this moment in Charleston and American history. Carolyn, we have seen a lot of people down on Meeting Street and on King Street just standing by waiting. As soon as this statue came off the pedestal and is now lowered to the ground, a lot of people are actually starting to clear out of the square after a very, very long day of waiting in this Charleston summer heat. It's relatively quiet. I'd say there's probably still 75-ish people around here taking photos and just witnessing this moment in history. A couple people still back in the shade just taking in everything that just happened. It actually was kind of a sudden um, removal that we saw. We were 
out here just waiting and then all of a sudden people started cheering. We turned around and this statue was floating in the air. People started singing, running up to the statue, taking videos, taking pictures after waiting all day. I think they were pretty, um, most people pretty excited to see this statue finally come down. Carolyn. Yeah, Katie, um, taking a look at the statue, you know, we, we talk about it being standing 115 feet in the air, but try to get an idea of the actual size of this statue of John C. Calhoun. Right now, it still appears to tower above the crowd. Can you give us an idea of, um, of its size in comparison? Sure, Carolyn. I'm still relatively decently far back from the statue back here right now, but it appears to be a little bit taller than the bottom of the pedestal. I think it is still floating in the air. I would guess maybe 15 feet is about how tall the actual statue of John C. Calhoun is. Like I said, later as this progresses, they're going to continue to take down the rest of the pedestal, but this is the first step, and I would say probably about 15 feet above the ground is how tall the actual John C. Calhoun uh, statue is standing right now. Still floating a little bit above, above the ground, but a little bit taller than that bottom part of the pedestal from what I can see back here in Marion Square, Carolyn. And Katie, we know that you had an opportunity to speak with a member of City Council, um, Peter Shaheed said that uh, this was time, this was the right time for this statue to be removed. Carolyn, that's right. Peter Shahid, who represents District 9 here in Charleston on City Council, said the vote was easy. They said it was all unanimous. They said after hearing from a lot of people who came to the meeting last night, hearing those passion-filled speeches, they said they couldn't really make any other decision. They said that this was time, this was the right thing to do in order to take a step forward for the city of Charleston. And many people that I actually spoke to here on the square throughout this day said that they're very proud of the city for making this decision. They think it was the right move, a step forward, and they will continue to hopefully, uh, or these people tell me they'll continue to push for even more changes, but this is definitely a good start and a step in the right direction. Carolyn. All right, Katie Augustine, uh, with our team coverage in downtown Charleston, as you can see, the Calhoun statue is down, brought bound just minutes ago, a little after five o'clock tonight, history made here in downtown Charleston. We want to now go over to Riley Benson. He is with the city of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg right now. Riley? No, don't hold it. Go ahead. Yeah, guys, we're right here in Marion Square with Charleston, City of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg. Obviously a big day for the City of Charleston. We want to talk to him about this, what this means in the City of Charleston. Um, Mayor Tecklenburg, describe what you're, what you're feeling. You see the statue is down. Well, uh, I, a certain sense of relief uh, because he was a little hard to get off the perch, you know. Um, I, and like racism is deeply rooted. Uh, it seemed like Mr. Calhoun was pretty deeply rooted in that uh, column up there. It's a struggle that's um, kind of reminiscent of the struggle that has been experienced, particularly by African Americans in this country and in our city for the last 350 years. So we're mindful of that and um, uh, glad to see uh, us accomplish the task. I was so uplifted to have the full unanimous support of city council in taking this action. And, and I just want to say that uh, a lot of folks think that this is somehow uh, us trying to erase history, but it's not at all. We're going to protect the statue and find an appropriate place in our city to contextualize, to tell the story of Mr. Calhoun and what he believed in, but not in the highest perch in the city overlooking everyone in a more appropriate place. That's, that, that, that's the sensible and balanced thing for us to do for our city going forward. So rather than erasing history, what we're really doing is building history for future generations, one of respect for one another. And that's what this is all about. Obviously, this took a little longer than expected, but you have people here, onlookers, who remain peaceful today. We've seen protests, but you have to feel really good to see things remain peaceful here today. Absolutely. Um, as I said with my council last night, and I feel it amongst these folks, that it's, it's really a sense of unity, of respect for one another, of setting a new chapter for, his, for Charleston's history going forward.
not looking backward, but going forward so that we collaborate, we respect one another, we get along. That's what this is ultimately all about. Okay, we're going to have a question from the studio from Brennan and Carolyn. Uh, Riley, thank you so much, and of course we appreciate uh, Mayor Tecklenburg spending time with us. We're getting some questions in from viewers, and one question is about the cost of this. Is it worth, worth the cost, and how much is the city of Charleston or um, whomever paying for this statue removal? So people are wondering the cost of the statue removal. Was it worth it? And can you maybe give us an idea how much it costs to take this down today? That, that will be coming to City Council on July 11th. And, uh, and to tell you the truth, um, the, the, the contract amount will probably be reduced quite a bit by folks that have been raising funds to help uh, uh, pay for costs of what we've been doing here. So there was one ladies group that raised 20, $20,000 in just a couple of days and they plan to help us defray the expenses. So uh, we'll we have to get those numbers in and, and by July 11th we'll know what that is. Oh, we have just one more if that's alright. Okay, I gotta run. Okay, real quick, why now? Why was this decision made now to remove the statue? So the question is why was this decision made now? Just right now to take the statue down. Why was it made now? Why was it made now? Yes. Uh, Charlie Parker once wrote a, a tune called Now's the Time, and, and now was the time. Uh, the scab of the wound of racism had been pulled once again in our country and the world recently, and it rose an awareness of, of society about the ills of, of past discrimination, slavery, and now was the time to do it. Now was the time to set a new course going forward, one of respect and really love for, for one another. That's, that's, again, what this is all about. Thank you so Thank much, you Mayor. So much. I appreciate it. God bless. There you guys have it. That was an interview. You heard it from City of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg about his feelings on that statue now down, as well as why that statue, why that decision to take the statue down was made. Brendan and Carolyn. This is Riley Benson, part of our team coverage down at Marion Square in downtown Charleston. Riley, you certainly appreciate that. You saw history happening, I don't know, about 25 minutes ago, about 20 minutes ago, as the uh, former Vice President John C. Calhoun, the statue of him that stood at Marion Square uh, since the 1800s, the late 1800s, has been taken down. Where it goes from here, uh, uh, historians will determine where that statue will go as it is removed from Marion Square. That's right, 124 years that statue has been the tallest point in the city of Charleston and now finally removed. News 2's Katie Augustine is in downtown Charleston right now as that statue is being lowered before it is moved to another place and we heard from the mayor not quite sure where it will go but it will be moved to a place that can allow a degree of context about John C. Calhoun and his role in this country's history. But you certainly can see throughout the day, Brendan, people have been there since sure. overnight. They've stood, they've waited for this moment, and we watched it play out. As the mayor said, a lot of challenges with this statue being removed, and in some ways it was a metaphor, mm -hmm. some would say, for what's happened in our country as well as what's happened locally. There were some challenges, as there always are, but finally um, the bolt, perhaps the one that was in the heel of John C. Calhoun, finally gave way and that statue was removed. Um, a lot of people still in downtown Charleston right now. It looks like um, possibly a few hundred people. They've been there throughout the afternoon waiting for this moment, but finally it's happened. Yeah, we really didn't know it would take this long, to tell you the truth. We knew uh, the, the gear, the equipment necessary to take this down started gathering. They put up fences. They closed down Calhoun Street there right in front of the statue uh, late last night. Uh, we thought maybe it would be down in the early morning hours, but they did run into some problems. But it has been taken down. Uh, you saw it there. It stayed in front of the people who were using it as a photo opportunity to take pictures. Then you saw the big crane hoisted away. And where it is right now is where we want to go to News 2's Katie Augustine, who has more on possibly where it will go temporarily before permanently. Katie? 
Brendan, I'm out here standing on Calhoun Street. As you can see, it is blocked off right here. The statue has just been taken down from the pedestal. It is now being loaded onto what I believe is a truck. We're having a hard time seeing it exactly where we're standing right now. But I think for the moment, until they decide what to do with the statue, whether it goes in a museum or an academic institution, they're going to have to store it somewhere. So we're going to walk this way, actually, and see if we can get a better look at what's going on right here. Still many people downtown on Calhoun Street where it's blocked off, just watching, hoping to get a glimpse of this statue. If you take a look straight through there, you can still see all of this equipment. There's cranes, there's a fire truck on standby just in case. So this is what we're seeing right now. We can't exactly see what they've done with the statue. It looks as though they might have already loaded it, but we will continue to check in and keep you updated for right now. Brendan. Katie, give us an idea of uh, the crowd's reaction. I know that you've been moving around a lot, but um, have people been respectful of this process? What are people saying? And uh, just tell us who you are seeing and what they are saying. Carolyn, so everyone downtown today has been very peaceful. I haven't seen any uh, rowdiness or anything like that. Everyone very respectful of this process, giving the workers their space to do this um, harder than we thought task. It took almost 15 hours for this statue to come down. Everyone was just sitting on the square, waiting patiently, taking a look up to the sky, just waiting to see the statue come down. But we haven't seen any kind of protest or anything like that. No chanting. Everything's been very peaceful and calm today. When the statue did come down, though, Carolyn, everyone was cheering. They started singing, running up to the statue, or up to the fences, rather, excuse me, just um, seeing the statue swing through the air. This is what they've been waiting for for all day, Carolyn. Katie, this is Brendan. We've heard uh, the call for this monument, the statue to be taken down in the past, but the fact that it is finally down off its perch after uh, 124 years, really, I mean, you were down there, you kind of have your finger on the pulse. A sense of maybe disbelief by somebody, hey, this is finally happening. They finally listened to uh, some people's wishes and took this the thing down. Brendan, I think there was definitely an element of surprise for some of uh, Brendan. I think there was definitely an element of surprise for some of the people watching. I don't think they believed it was really going to happen until they saw it with their own eyes, especially with all of these mechanical issues that we ran into. We were just really unsure, waiting along with the crowd of what the fate of this statue would be for today. But all of a sudden, it came up off that pedestal and started lowering to the ground where people were very excited. I saw some tears flowing, a lot of people singing, chanting just very excited. We actually just saw Mayor Tecklenburg walk into the crowd. He's in the blue shirt down there. I'm not sure if you can see him. Probably giving these workers an idea of what to do next with the statue. As I said before, we don't have eyes on it at the moment. We believe it has been loaded already onto one of these trucks or in this crane or one of these pieces of equipment to take it to storage until this group of historians, historians excuse me, this committee makes a decision on where it will go next. Brandon Car Carolyn. Yeah, we certainly appreciate Mayor Tecklenburg spending time with us and explaining uh, part of this process as well as part of the reason Charleston City Council made this decision last night to move forward with removing the Calhoun statue and seeing the mayor spend time with the workers who are responsible for physically moving the statue from that monument base. Uh, meanwhile, I guess the decision is where it will immediately go, and perhaps that's one of the things that they are discussing right now. Certainly that decision already made, but moving through the process is one that the mayor seems to um, have his hand on right now. So once again, bringing you up to speed, if you are just tuning in, the John C. Calhoun statue coming down from that monument base just about 25 minutes ago, we watch live as this process happened. This started about 13 hours ago. Work crews started dismantling the statue, and you can see the result. It was lowered to a crowd of cheers, possibly jeers as well. People who stood in Marion Square waiting all afternoon for this happen, and they saw it happen live. That monument, that statue that has stood for more than 100 years as the tallest spot in Charleston. We now continue our team coverage. We just heard from Katie Augustine. We now want to go down to Riley Benson, who's 
had a front row seat to everything that's happened down there in Marion Square for the past couple of days and joins us now as we can see the crowd has dispersed pretty much, Riley. Yeah, Brendan, actually, I want you to kind of take a look. You can see the remaining amount of crowd is actually off here to my left. Um, and I think they might have an eye shot of what's actually going on with that statue. Uh, if you look where the crane's based, uh, it looks like it's directly behind these trees. Uh, there are trucks, there are flatbeds, I kind of mentioned this earlier, sitting on Calhoun Street, uh, right in front of, I believe that's a Walgreens over there. Uh, they took a plaque over there earlier today, but I believe the, the remaining crowd is right here. Uh, I think you're getting a good look at that right now. They're kind of keeping an eye on what the process is now as the statue has been removed from the pedestal and moved towards Calhoun Street somewhere in that general vicinity, um, assuming that they're loading it onto one of the flatbed trucks that are sitting in the alley in the street over there. Uh, there was about three of them earlier over there. There's also a secondary crane, which is now moving, as well as a couple other pieces of heavy equipment uh, working to load that statue onto the truck from where we are. It's hard to see what's exactly taking place, but, Brendan, that's what we'd have to assume is they've gone ahead and they're getting ready to either move that statue off of Calhoun Street or at least put it on the truck and prepare for movement. Yeah, we weren't able to actually see where the statue is right now, but we imagine that it is somewhere in the Calhoun Street area. Uh, we saw Charles and Mayor John Tecklenburg directing work crews in that area. So what will be very interesting to see where that statue goes right now. Yeah, it sure is. A lot of people are asking, you know, who exactly was John C. Calhoun? Why the call uh, to have this statue taken down? Of course, he was the seventh vice president of the United States, served from 1825 until 1832. Now, he will be remembered for strongly defending slavery, advancing the concept of minority states' rights and politics. His beliefs and warnings heavily influenced the South's secession from the Union in 1860 to 1861. We continue our team coverage going back to Katie Augustine with more. Katie. Brendan, we're still out here on the side on Calhoun Street behind this fenced off, blocked off area, area. Excuse me. We're just watching crews right now. It looks like they're starting to clean up, trying to discuss the best way to get this statue uh, out of this area. There's lots of people um, on, over here crowded around the fences, both on this side and on the Marion Square side, as you can see. These are some of the people that I've seen out here all afternoon, all morning, all day, just really waiting to see the statue removed. Once it finally was, they all ran up to the gate. They were very excited. At the moment, I'm not sure exactly where the statue is. It's either um, on or near one of these pieces of equipment, or it's behind the pedestal, behind the trees here, near where this group of workers is. We can see Mayor Tecklenburg down with the workers discussing uh, what to do with the statue next and probably thanking these workers for their 15 hours of hard work. Brendan Carolyn. All right, Katie Augustine in downtown Charleston all day watching this process happen. Again, the John C. Calhoun statue removed just about 30 minutes ago from the monument base. There is still a lot of work to be done with totally dismantling uh, the monument base, and we understand that that will happen as well. Um, but this is a process we've watched very closely since about 1 o'clock this morning. They first started uh, bringing equipment into that area and then at about three o'clock actually physically started some of that work. It has been an all day process. We've watched it very closely and so have a lot of you. A lot of people have been out there all day and finally they are seeing the result of a city of Charleston resolution just 24 hours ago to remove that statue from Charleston. Yeah, it was a delicate process to be sure over 100 feet in the air that statue which is a lot different than we've seen from previous statues that have been taken down. So this definitely stood tall above the city of Charleston. Once again we are taking a look at the video at the moment it came off its perch right there in Marion Square in downtown Charleston being lowered down into Marion Square where it stood for a good five, five minutes or so even more as people who uh, supported the statue being taken down came over and took pictures and video of it. Some cheered briefly as it was uh, being lowered down to the ground. It was then raised again and put on the truck that you saw on Calhoun Street. A lot of heavy equipment involved in this. It was not an easy process as it was uh, taken down. They ran into a couple of problems as it took several more hours than expected. They expected to have it down by the time the sun came up this morning, but that just didn't happen. But the bottom line is, as of just after 5 o'clock today, 
in the year 2020, 124 years after this Calhoun statue was put up in Marion Square, it is now down. Where it goes from here will be a decision uh, that will be made later. Yep, that monument, 115 feet tall from ground to the top, erected June 27, 1896. John C. Calhoun stood as the highest point over the city of Charleston, over the peninsula, uh, a cloak over his shoulders, a scroll in his left hand overlooking Calhoun Street. He was a staunch defender of slavery and a former U.S. vice president. This process started about 3 o'clock in the morning, and of course, this historical figure with a known racist past now removed from that monument base over the city of Charleston. And there you see it. Uh, the protests and demonstrations have been going on for weeks uh, fo uh, following the, the death of George Floyd for the statue. Really a movement the last couple of weeks to have statues throughout this country, throughout this state to be taken down. Several have. Several have been vandalized. And we did report that the, the base of that statue had been vandalized and several were arrested earlier, uh, later last week because of uh, calls and protests and demonstrations to have it taken down. It has been cleaned up. The heavy equipment was brought in. And last night, the Calhoun Street area right there was uh, corded off as that heavy equipment was brought in. There you can see it right there, I believe. Uh, it I looks as if, yeah, it looks, camera. Brendan, like they are securing the statue yeah, to, to the, the base, base possibly. Yeah. yeah, this feet, uh, he's laying down and, and the, the feet are facing us. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, so. there you go. Um, uh, Katie Augustine described it as being about 15 feet tall. That's kind of her estimate. She was... Um, standing a few feet away from it, but that's an estimate as to how tall that statue actually stood. Uh, News News Riley Benson had a chance to speak with Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg just minutes after that statue was removed. The mayor explaining that we are settling a new chapter, a more equitable chapter in our city's history. Let's go to Riley Benson right now for more on an area that cleared pretty quickly, but a lot of those people actually went closer to where that statue no. lays right now. Riley? I mean, which side's going to be easier for you? Right through this fence, he's actually laying on what looks to be a huge um, a piece of wood of some sort. Obviously, he's laying down right now. Uh, the trucks just loaded him off of the crane. They did remove that cement the part that he was standing on, the part that they had to cut off the pedestal. Uh, it's sitting in the grass over here. But if you can get a look through here, uh, we see council member, we see a couple of city council members standing there with the statue, um, assuming that Mayor Tecklenburg is still in the area over there somewhere. Um, we're kind of kept here because of the fence. But you can see the John C. Calhoun statue laying down on its side in Calhoun Street. You can see the heavy equipment that's trying to load it there. Um, they're working with it. You can see actually Mayor Tecklenburg is right here. We see council member Shahid as well over here. Um, so, guys, this is where the statue's at right now. Obviously, where it goes from here is still the big question being asked by many. Um, but we wanted to be able to give you that look of where the statue sits right now. Back to you guys. Okay, getting a look there through uh, the several fences there as News 2's Riley Benson continues to uh, give us some coverage down there, downtown Charleston, Marion Square, as the statue of John C. Calhoun now lays down on a truck there in the middle of Calhoun Street, taken down just after 5 o'clock tonight. It has been down for about a half hour now. Where it goes from now will be a decision made later, but we do know it is down off its perch for the first time since 1896 when it was put up there, Carolyn. Yeah, this started a long time ago. Go, and then all of a sudden it seemed as if the process happened pretty quickly, 13 hours, and then suddenly it was off that monument base. And as you can see now, that statue is being laid on some kind of device where it will be transported to a place where it will be protected until it is in fact put in a place of uh, where the mayor says, a place where it could add more context and more education about John C. Calhoun's role in this country's history. We have been watching this process really all evening, I'm sorry, all day, as well as overnight. We've had reporters on the scene, and even when the weather was uh, pretty bad and questioned as to whether they would have to stop this process entirely, but it looks as if the weather has held off, and now we see that this statue has been removed. We want to go back downtown live to Katie Augustine now as she is there and has a look, a bird's eye view of what's happening now. Katie? 
Brendan, as you can see, this flatbed truck right up here on Calhoun Street is backing up as they have raised the Calhoun statue. If you can walk, we'll walk over here a little bit so you can get a better look at the statue. One view that um, I'm not sure if Riley was able to see before, but we can see from here, you can see those bronze rods in the bottom of the Calhoun statue's feet that was giving these workers so many issues for hours and hours today as they tried to remove this statue. It's currently being loaded onto this truck where the fate of the statue for now is still unknown. We can still see Mayor Tecklenburg down with the workers discussing the best way uh, to go ahead and take this statue out of here. The street is currently blocked off. I think they'll have to use Charleston Police Department's help in order to get the statue out of downtown and into its next location until this group of historians, this committee that has been appointed to decide where the statue will go, whether that's a museum or an academic institution, we're not quite sure yet. But right now, this is such a historic day in Charleston, South Carolina. As Brendan and Carolyn said, this John C. Calhoun statue has just been laying on Calhoun Street for the first time since 1896, over 100 years. Many people here excited about the prospect of the statue coming down and excited to see what other changes Charleston City Council will make um, with with everything going on in America right now. Back to you guys. Judy, uh, a bit surprised, uh, to be honest with you, about how quiet and calm it is there because, quite frankly, with other statues coming down across the country, it just hasn't been that way. But the mood there really is quiet right now, isn't it? Brendan, it's very quiet right now. We haven't seen any kind of protesting or rallying or anything today. People have just been sitting and watching and keeping themselves, or keeping to themselves, rather. I think for so many weeks now, we've seen so many protests and rallies downtown in this area. Now they finally are seeing this change, and they're just, we're patiently waiting. And now that it's come down, I think this group is just watching and waiting to see what's going to happen next, just like all of us that are down here as well. I think we're seeing a little bit of progress now with the Calhoun statue being loaded onto the truck. Woo! Oh, you can hear a couple people clapping in the background. They're just excited that this um, historic day in Charleston has finally come after they've been calling for this for um, such a long time now. Brendan, Carolyn. And we see uh, there, City of Charleston, Mayor John Tecklenburg, maybe a reason for the clapping and the applause as he really made a passionate speech just days ago calling for a resolution to have this statue taken down, Carolyn. Yeah, absolutely, Brendan. And, and we see the mayor walking very close to where our camera is right now. Um, certainly a very busy day for the mayor. Uh, hopefully he will speak with us again about what, what this day means to him. Speaking with uh, Katie Augustine right now, let's listen in to see if Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg will talk more about where the statue will go right now. Um, certainly a lot of people trying to spend time with the mayor to get his reaction to what this day means personally as well as to the city of Charleston. Um, but certainly we can understand he's very busy today and may not have a chance. But we did speak with him earlier and he said that this was the time. The time is now when asked about why this perhaps was not done in the past, why the decision made now. He said the time is now, that this was the right time to move the John C. Calhoun statue from its place of prominence over the city of Charleston. Katie, uh, you just spoke with him for a quick second there. What did he say to you? Uh, Brendan, Mayor Tecklenburg said that unfortunately he was a little bit busy to talk to us at the moment. I think he was just down discussing with the workers, though. The next move for the statue, unfortunately, we couldn't get any more information out of him than we already have. But hopefully we'll be able to catch up with him soon to try to find out where the statue will, will go next as it's awaiting its final resting place in either a museum or an academic institution. As we discussed earlier, there's going to be a group of historians, a committee appointed to figure out what the best place for this statue will be. Back to you. Thank you very much. If you are just joining us, it is a little before 6 o'clock, 5.43, and just after 5 o'clock tonight, the John C. Calhoun statue was taken off its perch and brought down to the ground, uh, something that has been in the works for quite some time now, but the call, a resolution to have it taken down in just the last couple of weeks, well, it has in fact happened. History has been made today in Marion Square in downtown Charleston. As we continue to look at those live shots down in Marion Square, we have Riley Benson and Katie Augustine
being down there covering that side of the story for us. And certainly, Carolyn, emotions a lot different, I think, right now. I mean, a lot of people are filled with pride. Some are not. Some wanted to see that statue stay atop there. But uh, from the last couple of weeks or so, uh, just to... Oh, maybe surreal that it actually happened, that their voices were actually heard, the people that wanted to have the statue taken down. A conversation that's happened for many years, in fact. Sure. There were a lot of people who felt very strongly that that statue should stay. And as you said, there were those who felt very strongly the statue should be removed. And then suddenly it happened very quickly. Of course, that resolution coming with that unanimous vote last night by Charleston City Council. Of course, there was public input. Some 300 people nearly uh, voiced their opinion, saying that they believe that that statue should, st should be removed. And then about 50 people in opposition and there was even a person who offered to purchase the John C. Calhoun statue. So it seemed as if it were a long time uh, coming, mm -hmm. and then suddenly it happened very yeah, quickly happened with that so resolution. Quickly. You know, it, Karen, I've been here 25 years, and I know there's been talk in previous years to have the Calhoun statue taken down. Born and raised, you, here, in Charleston. Has that always been a subject, uh, the Calhoun statue of Marion Square, since as long as you've been alive? I think there has always been concern about what that statue meant. Mm -hmm. I don't think that there was a whole lot of um, belief that it would ever actually right. be removed. And when the conversation happened about removing the statue, and it did not happen in years past, I believe a lot of people thought that it was just going to be there forever. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, as a result of the climate, the conversation, just the momentum that I think we all believe is happening in the country about uh, challenging some racist beliefs and places where people are subjected and damaged because mm -hmm. those people who held these racist beliefs. I mean, this was someone who was a staunch defender of slavery and slave owner. Uh, a slave owner. You know, a lot of people are slave owners, but just defended slavery and had a position of influence and authority over people. And uh, so I think that, you know, people are just have just decided now was the time. And that's mm -hmm. what the mayor said just a few minutes ago. He said, the time was just right to remove it. You know, we talk about uh, the beliefs, but you talk about disbelief. And I think asked Riley about that, the feeling of people as we rejoin our live shot downtown and see them loading uh, the statue onto a flatbed truck to be taken somewhere, the destination not exactly known at this point. But I think a lot of people are probably feeling that way, Karen, a disbelief. They just really never actually thought this statue, being up there as long as it was, would ever be taken down as we see a good shot of it right yeah, there. Yeah, it certainly is. And you can see, really get an idea of the size, size of, it, right. of this statue and to see it in this position. Uh, the John C. Calhoun statue laying on Calhoun Street. And Brendan, you, if you've had an opportunity to look at some of the posters and to hear the chants of pe some people, this movement has not stopped, not even with the removal of the statue. There are now calls for Calhoun Street to be renamed. Not sure of whether that will actually happen, but that certainly is something that's also building in terms of people um, hoping that that will be a change as well. Um, people willing to really challenge a lot of things that have been um, status quo for years and centuries in Charleston. Yeah, the city of Charleston actually, they were able to, 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 to vote on this and be able to take down, but as my understanding is, a, a street name may have to go up to Columbia, uh, the General Assembly, to have uh, uh, something like that change. So it's something we haven't heard a lot of right now. We've heard whispers of it, rumors of it, but we'll certainly follow up on that to see what happens from here. One, not only what happens to that statue that you're looking at right now of our former Vice President John C. Calhoun that has been in Marion Square since 1896, down for the first time since then, as we are continuing to recap the events that have unfolded, not only over the last 13 hours, but things suddenly turned just after 5 o'clock tonight as finally that statue broke loose, was cut loose from its perch 115 feet in the air. A crane had it wrapped, raised, brought over, lowered into the ground of Marion Square, then raised again and put here on Calhoun Street and, and laying down on that uh, flatbed truck to where it goes. And that's a decision that, like I said, will be made later. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that, uh, exactly where the John C. Calhoun statue will end up. The monument standing 115 feet tall, erected June 27, 1896. The John C. Calhoun statue stood 
with his cloak over his shoulder and a scroll in his hand looking over Calhoun Street. The statue of Calhoun, a staunch defender of slavery and a former U.S. vice president, started coming down at around 3 in the morning. This is the latest memorial of a historical figure with a known racist past to be removed recently. Uh, Charleston City Council voting unanimously late Tuesday to remove the statue of Calhoun from Marion Square. Crews worked throughout this day, lifting that massive statue from its base. It's estimated to be about 6,000 pounds. The statue is the latest in a string of monuments that have been torn down or brought down or slated for the removal in the wake of protests around the country demanding racial justice. Our news crews have been on the scene since about midnight last night watching this process happen, as many people have. Uh, Marion Square holding dozens of people throughout the day. People have stopped in. Some have stayed throughout this process. And finally, it started happening at around 5 o'clock. That statue finally removed. Yep, and uh, right behind that red 18-wheel right now is where that statue is on its back. Uh, being ready to be taken out as soon as they uh, strap it down securely. Uh, the last words attributed to John C. Calhoun, the South, the poor South, as he served as Vice President, the seventh of the United States from 1825 to 1832, served under two presidents, John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson. Did not have a great relationship with Andrew Jackson, as I have read and researched about the former Vice President, John C. Calhoun. But we are continuing to cover this live for you. We have team coverage. We have been doing so for uh, the last uh, 24 hours. As you can see, they have put a tarp, a blanket over the statue right now. They are getting ready to transport this and take it out of the area right now and just are making sure that the statue is secure on the back of that truck right now. It was taken down from its perch uh, going on about uh, 45 minutes ago. Let's go back down to News 2's Riley Benson, who has been there and was there for that historic moment. Riley. Guys, we're here in Marion Square, and again, we were just showing you a short time ago where the John C. Calhoun statue sits right now. You can see they actually just covered it up. They just put a covering on it. It's sitting on what looks like the back, what sits, looks like the back of a flatbed truck. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's sitting right here on the back of this flatbed truck. They have a covering on it. Um, it looks like they're getting ready to move it. Um, we hear some sirens. Maybe the police are getting ready to open up Calhoun Street and move it out of here. But it's sitting on the back of a flatbed truck on the other side of this fencing through this greenery. It's on Calhoun Street. You can see it covered up right now. They're kind of, it looks like maybe securing that covering that's covering the statue as it sits right now on the back of this truck, Brendan and Carolyn. All right, and Riley, it looks as if the crowds are still there. People still waiting right there on Calhoun Street to see where the John C. Calhoun statue will be taken. I couldn't hear a question. Okay, so Again, uh, just to kind, of, kind of just to reiterate what we're seeing is that statue is sitting across um, f away from us now on the back of this truck. They have it strapped down. It looks like they have it covered up. There's still a lot of workers in that area looking at, you know, at that statue, making sure that it's ready to move when they do decide to move it, guys. Okay, Riley, you were there for that moment when that uh, statue was first taken off its perch and started to be uh, brought down to the ground. Kind of take us back there to about 45 minutes ago, 50 minutes ago, when exactly that happened and, and the feeling that you felt from the crowd that was there watching it. Okay. All right. We are having some difficulty uh, speaking with Riley Benson, but right now. We are going to Katie Augustine. She has Mayor uh, John Tecklenburg there again. Katie, uh, you have the mayor there. That's right. I have Mayor John Tecklenburg here of the city of Charleston with me. I know we'll keep it short for you, Mayor. What's the next stop for this statue? A safe place uh, to rest for a little while while uh, we have put together an amazing group of historians led by Robert Rosen and Dr. Bernie Towers who will help advise the city on the ultimate uh, location and context of, uh, of the history of Mr. Calhoun and his life and what he believed in because he really 
I would say was the intellectual underpinning basis for um, uh, justifying slavery and, and discrimination. Okay. And so can you tell me an approximate timeline of when they're going to be wheeling the statue out of here, or are they still trying to figure that out down here? Uh, they they got to get him all secure first. He came down in, in uh, one piece. Every, everything uh, was in good shape. And we're even getting the other letters and the plaques and everything to go along with him. Okay. So he's in good shape. Good to know. And then do we know when the rest of this pedestal is going to be taken down? That will be a few weeks later. Um, they want to take a little time and... Uh, it was a little more difficult than they thought, uh, bringing the statue down, so they want to study that column a little more before we move with anything else. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, thank Mayor Tecklenburg. So Appreciate you talking to us. Again, that was Mayor John Tecklenburg with the city of Charleston, just telling us that for now, the statue is going to be taken to a safe place, he says, until this council, this committee of historians can decide the best place for John C. Calhoun's statue to have its, um, say, final resting place, whether that's in a museum or an academic academic institution. Right now, if you can take a look down here, down Calhoun Street, which is still blocked off, they are securing the statue to the back of this flatbed truck, waiting to go ahead and roll it out of here where that, um, I guess, undetermined for now safe location will be. A lot of people out here still waiting, watching. Charleston Police Department also out here. I actually did just see a couple officers walk down into the work zone just now, maybe discussing with crews the best way and when to go ahead and open those roads so we can go ahead and get this statue out into its next location. Back to you. Katie, thank you for that. And it was good to hear um, straight from Mayor Tecklenburg about the next first steps for the John C. Calhoun statue. The mayor is saying that that statue will be taken to a safe place and then there will be um, input from uh, local leaders such as Dr. Bernie Powers, um, professor of history at the College of Charleston, as well as author Robert Rosen, who will add their input as to where the statue should go and how to add historical as well as educational value as to where the statue will be placed for all to learn more about John C. Calhoun. Katie, is there the possibility of you speaking with people who are still standing there as to why they've waited all day um, to learn more about what will happen with this statue and to find out more about why it was important to see this process happen. I'm not sure if we're able to hear from Katie or Riley who might be able to speak with some of the people who are still waiting there on Calhoun Street. We will ask them uh, to do that later. We do know that we are going to take a very, very short break right now. We are uh, kind of gathering ourselves as we get ready for News 2 at 6 o'clock, but we will continue to have complete team coverage of this very historic moment. The John C. Calhoun statue has been removed from its perch in Marion Square in downtown Charleston. Where it goes from now, that is a decision to be made later, but we certainly will keep you updated. We have team coverage coming up after the break. Stay with us.